Dame Deborah James's parents said the late campaigner, who died from bowel cancer in 2022, would be so proud of the Princess of Wales following her cancer announcement. In their emotional message, Heather, 66, and Alistair, 68, said Kate's courage will save the lives of millions. They told the son, Deborah would be so proud. The Princess of Wales has shown incredible courage in speaking out so publicly about her treatment. It takes huge bravery to do so, but her bravery will help millions of cancer patients and their families face this horrible disease. What's more, in being so open and honest, Kate will undoubtedly encourage many more people who are living with potential symptoms of cancer to seek medical help. In doing so, she will save lives. They continued, We know if Deborah were here to send Kate a message, she would tell the Princess of Wales to hold on to rebellious hope. Deborah was a firm believer in the power of hope, and given how many times she beat the odds to survive, rebellious hope became her mantra. This of course came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But, most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that is appropriate for them, and to reassure them that I am going to be okay. As I have said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal, in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too. As is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you will understand that, as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I am able, but for now I must focus on making a full recovery. At this time, I am also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone.